What's up? What's up? So glad you're here to join us again on this amazing day. I'm grateful for your time, your choice to be with us this morning, your participation. So today, we're going to pick up right where we left off. We're going to be getting into the short form all the way through. I introduced the last section during our last session. <laughs> A little tongue twister there right as we get started. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, I can work it out. I'll work it out. So what we want to be able to do today is to review that, and then we're going to spend the rest of this month working through the entire short form. So we want to bring, this is session 13, I believe, because we, we uh, <laughs> yes, this is session 13. So what we want to be able to do, we spent 13 months or so together going through the short form. So now after the short form, we'll head right into our fast for January. So you want to keep on doing this and then we'll get into some specific breathing exercises and body movements in terms of some beginning aspects of what we would call uh, sama or yoga. And in so doing, we'll begin to expand the offerings for this summer solstice fast, which starts on June 1st. All right. Hopefully you'll join us this time we'll begin to have that information slowly start coming out all over the rest of the month. I think y'all will appreciate it if you get a chance. It should be a really exciting time and I look forward to it. And with that said, we're gonna get into some Asar stands. We're gonna get into some Qigong. We're gonna get into the short form. All right. And it's gonna be a little different like it was on Tuesday, because we want it's going to be a little more intense because we're doing the short form. And because we're going all the way through for these first couple of sessions, we're not going to do some of the Tai Chi exercises at the beginning because we're starting back. And I'm, my goal is that you're doing that stuff already every day. And so that what we'll do today is spend a little more time actively flowing right through the form. Okay. All right. And there'll be some variations, it'll be some things that are a little different. We want to keep it fresh, keep it moving. Let's get to it. Find a spot where you can stand comfortably. As we get into it. All right. Let me get my pad ready. Okay. So, Muchi position. Pyramid hands. And we bow in to all the masters that have gone before us to bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Pyramid hands. All right, shifting all the way to the right, up on the left toes. You're going to step a little wider than shoulders width, heel first. Balance the weight between the legs. And into the Asar stance.
Pyramid hands. Shifting all the way to the right, sliding that left foot into the Wuchi position. And the hands down, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, good, good, good. Wuchi position again. We're gonna get into the Qigong. Pyramid hands. Shift the weight and step. Palms up. I'll see the golden orbs. Each hand, golden white like the sun, the palm of each hand. Two breaths. Rotate the palms into oneness for two breaths. Into the turtle, chin down. Out to drawbridge. Point the hand between the legs for two breaths. Into oneness. Grab it through the shoot. Into oneness. Into elbows. Into oneness. Right hand on top of left hand, palms up, thumbs touching, arms and hands not touching the body, hands beneath the navel. Rotate the left hand on top, left hand on top, palms facing. See a ball of yellow, golden, white light like the sun in between the palms of the hands.
into oneness. Into the turtle, chin down, and out to the drawbridge. Point the hands between the legs. Into oneness. Pyramid hands. Shift the weight and bring it in. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, then we get into the cop position. Two breaths. Palms facing forward, two breaths. Shifting all the weight to the left as you pivot this right heel, shift the weight. Step forward with the left, drop the hands down, right hand in front of the heart, left hand in front of the forehead. All the weight comes back to the right leg, four breaths. Stepping back, shifting the weight and pivot, feet are straight and parallel, bring the hands down, and we go into swinging arms. I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna open the chest and stretch the back, sink it down. There we go. This is number two of Last one. All 
All right, shake it out. Opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, good, good, good. Now, very, very briefly, we're gonna get into the gathering. Sinking down and inhale. Keep going. And then shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Excellent work. Good, feet parallel, shoulders width. And what we're gonna do is get ready to get into that short form. So let's get ready, feet parallel, shoulders width. And we're gonna go second down, sunrises, all the way through to the end. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, so now that's the whole form. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go through to where we went last week. We're gonna call out the movements so you're able to remember them. And remember, we're using Grandmaster Da Lu's book called Tai Chi Tron and Yi Ching. If you got a paper copy, this is more than likely what it's gonna look like, all right? There's some other additions, but this is the main one that you'll see, okay? Just wanna make sure folks have seen it. And so we're going from that book, that may help some of you. You know, if you're in our Facebook community, you'll know that you'll see it there. We reference it along with some other text that we utilize. This is part of a, you know, I used to teach this at university. So you would actually, you know, there's a way you can sometimes get credit depending on how you set it up. So wanted to be able to offer that to y'all in a way where you can get it both academically, theoretically, and then in terms of those of us that do it every day, more of a praxis. So that way you're able to get the real practical, tangible aspects of it and we move into it. So here we go, we're gonna do it again. Sinking down, sun rises.
come back, we're going to push. Let's sink back, turn the arms and strike. Cross hands. Sunrises over the mountain and sunsets. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right. How are we doing? Grab a quick seat. Quick seat. Okay, sit tall. I'll take that right hand. I'll place it. The first mudra, thumb and index finger touching. Then you're gonna do the same. The right hand, your left hand is this way, right hand is this way. Right hand here in the lap, left hand here, turn it to your face. Left thumb on the left nostril, middle and index finger in the center of the forehead. Breathing in, out. In, out. In, out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. And release. Switching hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Release. Both hands, palms up on the thighs, thumb and index finger touching, breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Tuck your chin. And release. Palms down, breathing in. Breathing out through the mouth. In through the nostrils, out through the mouth. In through the nostrils, and out through the mouth. All right. Now we're going to get right on into the wisdom from the sages of the ages. And again, today we're going to be going from teachings of Patahatep. We just keep it easy. And then we're going to clear the mind. And here we go. <laughs> if you are a wise one, train up a child that will be pleasing to God. If they are straight and take after you, take good care of them. Do everything that is good for them. Don't withdraw your heart from them. But an offspring can make trouble. If your child strays and neglects your counsel and disobeys all that is said with their mouth spouting evil speech, then punish them for, their, for all their talk. God will hate those who cross you. Their guilt was determined in the womb. 
those who God makes boatless cannot cross the water. All right. And no, that seems like it's a big deal, but you know, when you live in a river society where everything is about being able to move around the, the waters and the rivers, and you have the Nile crocodile being able to move with a with a safety of a boat. Uh, so being boatless has really severe consequences. Something to think about, because that may be a little outside of some of our experience. So I want to thank you for your time, your participation, your attendance. Please practice. I know the flow may feel a little different right now. And that's mainly because I want you to be able to spend the bulk of the time doing the form. All right. So now that you have the form and you have the principles, we're going to begin working on understanding the principles and looking at some of the basics of what we start off our push hands or our awareness enhancement training exercises with a form called seated push hands. And so in the next two weeks, I will be putting some of those things on our YouTube channel and then sharing them across all of our social media platforms. So you'll have an opportunity to see how and why we go from seated push hands to then standings and then all the other variants and then get into the applications. All right. So with that, I wanna thank you again Hatapu, peace to you. Ankh Ujasneb, life, health, posterity, and strength. And we say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Ashe, giving honor and praise to our eternal witnesses of the earth and the sky and our ancestors who are always with us. Thank you so much. Enjoy the remainder of your day, afternoon, morning, evening. That's a pool.